So in this slide you can see all the, not all, about four chromosomes of pea plants. Uh, I would like to stress upon the fact that pea plant has seven pairs of homologous chromosomes. So there are totally seven pairs of homologous chromosomes and the diploid number of pea plant is 2n is equal to 14. So here they have not shown the corresponding pair but they have shown the first chromosome, the fourth chromosome, the fifth chromosome and the seventh chromosome. You have to assume that each chromosome has a corresponding pair because a pea plant is a diploid plant. It's a diploid organism. So they have shown only one member of a pair. I hope you know that together with its corresponding member, we call a pair of chromosomes as homologous chromosomes. So we can call them as a homologous pair. One of them we can call it as maternal if it is derived from the egg and one of them we can call it as paternal which is derived from the sperm. So each one has its corresponding pair. Let me just show you a rough, um, it's not shown in this diagram. There are corresponding members in the pairs, each one. So totally, we have taken into consideration one pair. This is the second pair, third, fourth. So we have taken into account four pairs of homologous chromosome. Which of the four, which of the seven are these four? Like it's mentioned over here, this is the first homologous pair, this is the fourth homologous pair, this is the fifth homologous pair, this is the seventh. Why we are considering only these pairs, the first, fourth, fifth and seventh? Because we are only concerned about the genes which were studied by Mendel in pea plant. Notice how the first homologous pair has gene for both the color of the flower as well as the seed color. It will obviously be there on the corresponding member also. Okay, so I'm not showing it here. That's why they have shown only one member of each of the homologous pairs. So in the first homologous pair, the genes for flower color and seed color are present. In the fourth homologous pair, there is gene for flower position, gene for pod shape and plant height. Notice how the genes for pod shape and plant height are present pretty close to each other. Isn't it? And you know that when two different genes are located on the same chromosome, we can call it as linkage. So you can say that the genes for flower position, the gene for pod height and height of the, sorry, pod shape and height of the plant are linked. Then can you see how the fifth pair has only one gene in it which we are concerned with? That is the pod color. No other gene is located which Mendel studied. There are of course many other genes which we don't know what they do in the plant which Mendel did not study. We are only concerned about the character which Mendel studied. So the fifth pair has a gene which controls the pod color. And notice how the seventh pair also has only one gene sitting on it which controls the seed shape. Isn't it? So the first pair has genes for flower color and seed color. The fourth pair of homologous chromosomes has genes for flower position, pod shape and plant height. The fifth pair of homologous chromosome has only one gene that is gene for pod color. And the seventh homologous pair has only one gene that is gene controlling the seed shape. So these are the locations of those seven contrasting traits which Mendel studied, the genes which control those seven pairs of contrasting traits. This gives you the location of those genes among the seven homologous pairs. You can see that they are not present on all the seven homologous pairs. Out of the seven homologous pairs, they are located on the first pair, on the fourth pair, on the fifth pair and on the seventh pair. So it is important for you to know what genes the first pair has. I think the fourth pair, if you notice, has the most number of genes. It has three genes on it. One is for flower position, one is for pod shape and one is for plant height. So out of the seven homologous pairs, we are concerned with the first pair, the fourth pair, the fifth pair and the seventh pair. So this is a competitive question. They will tell you that on which chromosomes are the genes which control the trait studied by Mendel located. So it is not located on all the seven pairs. It is located on only four out of seven pairs. Not the first four. It is the first, 
the fourth, the fifth, and the seventh pair. Okay.